Hey everyone, welcome back to another Pythonic Accountant video. And in this one, we're gonna take a look at the newly released, updated model for GPT-3. Um, the previous one is Text DaVinci 002, and a model that just came out hot off the press is Text DaVinci 003. And it's, it's quite a bit improved, actually, from the previous one. Um, maybe a little bit nuanced, but it's pretty awesome. One of the biggest things that they added is you can add like a follow-up question into the input and they actually does a really good job of addressing that. So just want to show the difference if we used the old model, Text DaVinci 02, for this accounting question. It says, um, what are the three What are three key financial reporting controls completely unique to the restaurant industry that they should have in place and why are they important? Let's see what it says. Um, and it may do, a, it does a decent job actually. Um, it gives some, you know, unique controls here, food and beverage cost control, that can fluctuate significantly based on the cost of ingredients. And actually does give you um, why it's important having a system in place to track managing costs critical to maintaining profitability. Um, now, out of curiosity, let's see if it's any different with the 003. And let's see what it gives us. And I, I, it's similar, but I think this has a little bit more of a deep dive. Um, either way, I mean, it's pretty impressive types of responses. If I was, you know, planning um, an audit or walkthroughs of internal controls, and under this would help me understand them if I was new to the restaurant industry. So anyways, maybe a little bit nuanced um, as far as the differences, the, the ones for Text DaVinci 02 still seem pretty good, but I think the uh, Text DaVinci 03 is uh, more improved. And either way, I think these are pretty awesome. So Hope you uh, play around with these a little bit and would love to know uh, your feedback on uh, thoughts on it or if you have any other ideas of where it could, uh, the you know, these models could potentially apply in the accounting world. And I'm happy to do more deep dives into some of the different possibilities. So hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you at the next one.